Today's the first day back with students for me. I know a lot of schools in the Houston area already had students like day one. And um, I'm forever grateful. Grateful, grateful. Okay, I remember that song. Um, that I don't, <laughs> I didn't have to start Monday with students because I just, I, I, I don't think I would have been able to can that day. I, I just feel like I'd have been like, I don't know who you people are but I want you out of my classroom, you know? <laughs> One of those situations. Well, anyway, in honor of, <laughs> honor, celebration, I don't know if it's a celebration, but I just wanted to tell y'all one of the silliest moments that ever happened in my classroom. And it honestly is going to, to live with me forever. And there's, there's several silly moments. I've been teaching for 12 years. So I have countless stories and I've, I've shared them on my personal Facebook page um, that's just for like family and and really close friends and I never really thought to share it anywhere else because you know I just, I just never thought to do it um, but anyway so you know I'm a teacher I have been teaching I've taught Spanish language and I've also taught um, choir and this particular one happened in a Spanish class. It was a, a very, um, it was a very new college prep. It was an all girls school. And so, you know, if you're in Houston, you could, you literally could Google which one it is. And it's a really good school. And, um, but the thing is with really smart students is there's always something, you know, it's, just, there's always something. So at, at this particular school, it's all girls school. So, you know, they dress, they have their uniforms and they're really only um, expression of self would be like their hair, their nails, um, if they decided they wanted to wear makeup or something like that. And um, several of the girls would have braids. And <laughs> I'm gonna try to tell this without cracking up myself because it's still, at the time, I think it was funny. But now it's hilarious, but um, to me. <sighs> so a girl had braids in, it was a mixed class. Um, because I taught 8th through 12th grade at this point. Well, 8th through 11th grade. Um, and we're sitting down. I'm like, everybody's doing their work. And some girls are walking around. They do that every once in a while. And I'm, you know, I just, you know, I don't know I was saying. And then suddenly the girl was, she was doing her work. And all I hear was, oh! And I, I saw, I look up and I'm like, what? What's going on? And that the girls are in tears at this point. They are cracked up in tears and they can't tell me what's going on. And one girl just holds up a single braid that has come out of another child's head. And <laughs> so they're, they're cracked up. You know, anytime somebody leaves a weave, like loses a weave or there's tumbleweed is what we call it when it's just loose and flailing about. Um, <laughs> Every time that happens, just it's uncontrollable. Like the, at this point, there's there's no more class. We're done with class today. Nobody's gonna get anything done because this is the moment. But it's not just that that happened. That's not the funny part. Everybody has witnessed somebody, a part of their somebody's weed coming out or have heard of it. So the other girl whose hair was in a nice, nice little Afro puff, it's all picked out and it's beautiful and everything. She decides that she's going to tie it around her hair and swing it around like it's a helicopter. So she's not, no longer she's sitting down. I'm trying to regain order in the classroom without, you know, dying myself. Cause at this point I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's Lord of the Flies. I should just leave and, and whatever happens, happens. And um, <laughs> hopefully nobody gets killed with the boulder or something. It's sorry, it's the movie reference. If you haven't seen Lord of the Flies, um, I would say don't watch it. I, it's not my favorite. But anyway, um, <laughs> so she's swinging her head around like it's a helicopter 
and I'm just like oh my goodness and I at this point I'm almost to the point where I'm giving up and the girl's like miss tell her to give it back tell her to stop and so now at this point it, it just, I swear it like it sounds like it took 20 minutes it literally was just five minutes she has separated the braid unbraided it and she and another kid are now going like this can you imagine two 14 year olds going like this with their natural hair plus somebody's bead just like tied around it and I'm just like oh my gosh and so finally I was like stop get her back her hair <laughs> and so the girls were like Ur <laughs> And they were like, uh-oh, we finally like made her mad. Like, damn it, we're, we're in trouble now. She's gonna call our parents and why? Sorry, car coming in front of me. And I just said, I just wanted y'all to know that I absolutely hate everybody in this room for making me say, give her back her hair. Words I never thought I would say. I am shocked and appalled that you made me say that. Everybody's failing, everybody failed. You can stop doing your work, like at this point. You know, I'm just like, you know, I give up. This is this is the moment. This is it. So yeah. So now every once in a while I'll just, you know, pops in my head, it's like, stop! Give her back her hair. And I just I don't I hate that it came out of my mouth. I should have just been like, hey, I need everybody to stop. I need to stop. I need to take that out your hair. I need there were better ways for me to say that, and that's that's what has to give her back her hair. Facebook reminds me that I've said that every year because I, I put it on there and I was just like oh lord I just said it <sighs> anyway I hope <laughs> you enjoyed the story <laughs> as much as I do now at the time I did not enjoy it I was actually I'm still mad that that came out of my mouth and I, I try to speak say things in a way that doesn't leave an impression on people when I'm trying to regain control but you know it happens <laughs> anyway that's all for today I just wanted to share that story uh, you have a marvelous rest of your week thanks for writing part of the way to work with me and for humoring my teach a story all right bye oh wait subscribe like leave me a comment what did you think of the story have does it have a new I hope not anyway now bye